Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a PDF out of your posts in your WordPress website. So let's get started. Here I have opened up my WordPress website and let's go into one of the posts. Now if you want to create a PDF of this post, you can go to this option over here in Chrome and then click on print and here you have the option of saving it as PDF so just select that option and uh, select all the pages and select the layout portrait or landscape and then just go ahead and click on save and uh, this post will be saved as PDF but in this video I'll show you how to create a PDF out of all the posts in a WordPress website or even a selected number of posts in your WordPress website so for that let's go to the dashboard and we have to install a plugin for that so let's go to plugins and click on add new and the plugin is called print my blog so here's the plugin it is by Michael Nelson so just go ahead and click on install now and the plugin has been installed just click on activate and our plugin has been activated so you can go to the options of the plugin by going over here in the settings or you can go over here to the left and if you scroll down we can see we have a new option over here called print my blog now there are two options over here settings and print now so let's go to settings and here we have the option of adding a print button to our posts or pages so if you go to customize you can make some customizations to the button you can place the button above or below the content and you can add different options over here like print for a printer and then for PDF and even for an ebook. So for all of these you have different options. So if I click on show options, here you can see what should be included in the print. We can have the site title, tagline, the site URL and all these options over here. And you can also display the categories and all those things that are used in the posts. All this information is going to go in the header of the page. So here you can see it appears at the top of the first page. And uh, next we have post content to print. So we can print the title and uh, you can select any of these options from here and uh, they will be printed. The main one is the content. So this is the main content of your post and you can even print the comments if you want. Then we have other options over here like columns and uh, each post should begin in a new page so this is not applicable over here because uh, these buttons are for single pages so this doesn't matter and then we have the font size the image size and uh, the option of including or uh, not including the hyperlinks so here we have different options over here and uh, we have the same options over here in the PDF as well so here we can go ahead and change these options the same goes over here in the ebook and once you're done all of that you can just go ahead and click on save changes and let's go to one of our posts and let's see whether we have the print button and here we can see we have three options over here for print to the printer PDF and ebook so let's try it out let's click on this button and we can see the print page is ready so let's click on print to PDF and here we have a preview of our print so let's click on save and the name of the file is uh, the name of the post so just click on save and that's it we have converted this post to a PDF so this is the PDF let me just open this so here we can see this is the PDF and everything is uh, looking alright here we can see we have the heading, we have the tagline of our website and all the other options that we selected are displayed over here. Alright, now let's go ahead and convert all the posts in our WordPress website to a single PDF. So let's go back to our uh, dashboard and uh, then let's go to print my blog and then click on print now. And here we have different options. We have to select digital PDF. 
and uh, then go over here and click on show more print options and we have some options over here the first one is whether we want to print the posts or the pages so we'll just select post and then the order the oldest first or the newest first you can select any of these and uh, then the statuses so you can uh, select any of these you can even print the draft or the pending review or any of these I'll just select published and uh, then we have filters over here so if you want to print just a specific category to your PDF you can add the category over here all the categories will be displayed over here you can just type them right now I don't have any categories in my website so it's just showing uncategorized and then you can add different tags that you added to your post and uh, only those posts with those tags will be printed as a PDF and then you can also filter by authors so if you want to print all the posts by a specific author you can select that author over here right now we just have one single author which is admin and then we can select a range of date after and before which a post was created so you can select a date from here and from here and all the posts between this range of dates will be printed and then we have the same options that we had earlier so we can select what should appear at the header content so the site title the tagline site URL filters used so you can check or uncheck that I'll just uncheck that and then you also have this credit print my blog plugin over here so if you want you can keep this or you can even remove that I'll just keep it and uh, then we have the post content to print so I'll just select all of these as it is and then here you have the option each post should begin on a new page so I'll just set that to checked and then we have the columns so you can set the content in columns if you want I'll just select it as one column so it will be just as it is displayed in our website and then we have the font size the image size and uh, the links alright so let's go ahead and click on prepare print page we can see that it is uh, preparing and uh, the print page is ready so let's click on print to PDF and here we can see this is the first post this is the second post and the third one the fourth and so on there are some problems with some of the posts because uh, we have some interactive content over here this is a slider so it won't work in a PDF so you have to keep that in mind as well so you can either remove the interactivity from that post or you can even exclude that post by adding a category to all the other posts and selecting that category when trying to print so let's go ahead and uh, click on save and uh, this is the name of our website so let's click on save and our print is ready so let's open this and here we can see this is our PDF here we have the name of the website and uh, the tagline and all these things so each of the posts are in new pages and uh, there we have the PDF so you have to keep in mind that some of the things may not work in your PDF like things uh, which are interactive and uh, some other things written using JavaScript may not work so you have to keep all those things in mind when you try to print as a PDF so the best thing you can do is uh, you can add a category to all the posts which you want to print so if you want to print for example these two posts you can go to quick edit and uh, then uh, here we have tags so you can even add tags or you can even add categories over here I'll just add tag print and then click on update and let's go over here and let's type print update now if we go over here to print my blog and print now let's go to digital PDF and show more options and in tags here we have the option of print so if I select that and if I click on prepare print page and uh, click on print to PDF 
we can see that the two posts that we selected are being printed. So in this way, you can add tags to your posts and uh, then print specific pages. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.